This is Twit. Apple Music and also some third-party tools are well aware of the fact that you may want to have local downloads. You can think about uh, particularly the fact that you know music we used to actually sync to our devices as their full file and play them there. We didn't have music streaming. Music streaming is relatively new in the scheme of things. And so you can still download music. Uh, so if we pull up our iPhone here, and I will tap on the music icon to bring up Apple Music. And this is uh, my test device, so it does not have a bunch of music stored on it. That's why I got that little notification saying, welcome to Apple Music for the first time in your life. Uh, but what I can do here is when I go into the library, and you'll notice that this currently does not have the uh, syncing turned on. So I'm going to turn that on first, and it'll load in the library for this account. Um, but once that's done, then you'll notice that there is an album here. Now, right now, if I were to play a song from this album, it would be over streaming. It would uh, stream the music. And the reason I know that is because in the top right corner of the screen, there are two buttons. There's Micah's favorite button. And yes, I say that in the third person because a lot of people who listen to this show and my other shows know that I love the more button, uh, the three dots. But there's also a down arrow button. That is the button that says, I want you to download this music locally to the device. Uh, tapping on that will, of course, download the music locally to this device. I can tap on the three dots as well uh, to also choose to download. But once that music's downloaded, then I will be presented with uh, two options here. So let me go ahead and download, and I'll see a progress bar uh, with a stop. So all of this music is now downloaded. One of the things that shows up is now there's a gray uh, circle to the right of each track that has a down arrow within the gray circle. And that lets me know, to know that the music is downloaded. When I tap the More button now, I have the option to remove. Before it said delete from library. Now it says remove. And what's going to happen is it's going to prompt me. Do you want to remove the download or delete from library? And here's kind of the explanation that I wanted to provide for folks so that they understand the difference between the two. If I choose only remove download, what that does is it removes it from being stored locally on my device. If I choose delete from library, that's saying I don't want this album to be part of my music library. Then even if I was just streaming the music, meaning it wasn't locally downloaded, it would be gone entirely from my library by choosing delete from library. Now, one thing that you might, you know, become aware of over time after you've started to download music is it starts to kind of clog up space and maybe you want to make more space on your device. So let's talk quickly about uh, some of the settings that you can have by default for your music library through Apple Music. Uh, so I'll tap on settings and I will scroll down to music. And when I tap on this, I uh, want to scroll down to the section marked downloads. And here is a way to kind of build in a lot of control. First and foremost, we have uh, some toggles that I want to mention before we go into the deeper menus. There's download over cellular. Remember earlier I was talking about cellular downloads and it not being a system control at the time. You can say, I'm okay with music being downloaded over cellular. I've got a great connection. Don't ask, just let me do this. I have download in Dolby Atmos. That's a relatively new feature, again, in the scheme of things, that gives you the ability to download spatial audio, if you'd like it. And then automatic downloads. Now, automatic downloads basically tells the system that when you add, add music to your library, I want you to go ahead and download it to the device. So if you make a purchase in the iTunes store, an actual album purchase, or if you are adding it to the library, it can automatically download. I have that turned on on my phone because what I'm going to show you in a second is how you can kind of manage how much is downloaded. We'll go into the two areas. First, downloaded music. If I tap on downloaded music, I can see what music is stored locally on my device. So right now, there are it's 210.2 megabytes being taken up locally on my device, and it's all from one artist because that is the one album that I downloaded, that Cosmo Sheldrake album. At any time, I can swipe on the album to delete it. I can 
uh, tap into the album and delete a specific song. Uh, I can basically make edits anywhere along to say, I just want that song gone from my music library. But here is the beautiful thing. This second section within the music settings in the settings app is called optimize storage. And when we tap on optimize storage and turn it on, you have the option to tell your iPhone how much space you are willing to give up to music. And what this does is it intelligently will add music to your library. And well, I should say it doesn't intelligently add, it intelligently removes music from your local storage. So what happens is I say, I'm okay with about eight gigs of my, of my total storage space to be taken up by music. So remember I turned on automatic downloads. As I add music from albums, playlists, et cetera, to my library, it will go ahead and download those. But as it approaches eight gigs, it will let it get to eight gigabytes, and then it will stop letting it take up any more storage space. When it reaches that point, it will look at music that I haven't played in a while, and it will say, okay, he hasn't listened to this in ages. This music can be removed from local storage. It's still in your library, but it's removed from local storage, and that will help save some space. Um, once you've set that up, then you'll know what is available and what you know you have downloaded locally. So my kind of last bit of advice here is to, in the music app, check which music you want uh, to have stored locally, and then make sure that there's a check a check mark in the top right corner of each of the albums. And a little pro, another little pro tip is that on the main screen of the music app, tap on library at the bottom. And then look in that uh, section marked library for the area, the category, I guess, marked downloaded. That will quickly show you all of the music that you actually have stored locally on your device versus what would be streaming. And then you won't be in a situation like Dan and I were where you're at the last second trying to add stuff to the list. Hey, if you liked that clip, well, there's so much more to get by joining Club Twit. You can watch all of iOS Today, where we cover all things iOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, watchOS, and so much more. It's all the apps, all the tips and tricks, and everything with Rosemary Orchard and me, Micah Sargent. Join Club Twit at twit.tv slash clubtwit to see all of iOS Today.